Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to export multiple data frames to different sheets of the same Excel file using the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the three data frames that we can create with the lines 2 to 8 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of our studio that we have created three new data frame objects which are called data 1, data 2 and data Three. And in the following tutorial, we are going to export all of these data frames to different sheets of the same Excel file. Now, in order to do that, we first need to install and load the XLSX package, as you can see in lines 10 and 11 of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 11 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the XLSX package, such as write.xlsx2. Before we can write our data to an Excel file, we also need to specify the path where we want to store our Excel file. And in this case, I have created a new directory on my desktop, which is called my directory. And I'm specifying that I want to store our output file in this directory by running line 13 of the code. So at this point of the tutorial, I have created an empty directory at my desktop which is called my directory. And as you can see, this directory is empty at this point. So in the next step of this tutorial, I'm going to create an Excel file, which is containing our first data frame. And we can do that as you can see in line 15 of the code. And in this line of code, I'm using the write.xlsx2 function. And I'm applying this function to our first data frame. I'm specifying that I want to create a new Excel file, which is called data all at the path that we have created before. I'm also specifying that I don't want to show row names in our output file, but this is optional. And then I'm also specifying the sheet name of our first sheet. And in this case, I'm specifying that our first data frame data one should be stored in a sheet, which is called data one. So if you run line 15 of the code, a new file is created in our directory, which is called data all. And we can open this file to see the content of the file. And as you can see at this point, we have created only one sheet in our Excel file, which is called data one. And this sheet consists of the first data frame that we have created in R. So if we want to append additional sheets to this file, then we can apply the write.xlsx2 function again to our other two data frames, as you can see in lines 16 and 17 of the code. And it is important that in these lines of code, I'm using different sheet names. And I'm also specifying the append function to be equal to true. So if you run lines 16 and 17 of the code, our data file is updated, as you can see by opening the file again. And you can see that the first sheet that we have created before data one is still existing in the file. However, this time we have created two additional sheets, which are called data two and data three. So as you have seen in this first example, we can apply the write.xlsx2 function multiple times to append additional sheets to our Excel file. However, you can also see that this code can get very long and very complex in case we want to append many different sheets to the same file. And for that reason, I want to show you another example in which I'm automatizing our code that we have used before within a for loop. So as first step of this second example, we first need to create a vector which is containing the names of our data frames as character strings. And we can do that as you can see in line 19 of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of our studio that we have created a new vector object, which is called data names. And then we also need to close and delete our file that we have created before, because now we want to recreate the file in an automatized way. So as you can see at this point, our directory is empty again. Now in the next step of the tutorial, I'm going to write our first data frame to our directory, a bit similar to what we did in line 15 of the code. However, this time I'm specifying that I want to write the data frame that is stored under the first name of our 
vector of names. And I'm doing that by applying the get function to the first index position of our names vector. So if you run line 21 of the code, again, a file is created in our folder, which is called data all. And as in the first example, this file is containing only one sheet, which is called data one. So let's close this file. And then the important step of the second example is shown in lines 23 to 25 of the code, because in these lines of code, I'm using a for loop and I'm starting this for loop at the second position of our data names vector. And then I'm looping over all names in our names vector. So if you run lines 23 to 25 of the code, our file is updated as you can see by reopening the file. So as you can see, now we have added two new sheets to our file, which are called data two and data three. And we have added all of these new sheets in the same form. So as you have seen in this second example, if you want to append many sheets to the same Excel file, then it makes sense to create a for loop and to loop over the names of your data frames. So in summary, in this tutorial, I have explained how to export multiple data frames to different sheets of the same Excel file using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic and about the code that I have shown in this tutorial, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.